David, can you briefly introduce yourself with your full name in Chinese and your American name? Uh, my Chinese name is Chung Wei Jia, and my English name is David Jia. You can call me DJ. But, well, I'm not good at that, that, that music, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. No, you don't need to be nervous at all. This is going to be... Yeah. This is going to be a fun time. So, um... Uh, you said your American name is David? Yeah. How did you pick that name? Did somebody give it to you? Uh, well, my Chinese nickname uh, is uh, similar to the English name David. Mm-hmm. So, when I go to the international kindergarten, so they give me a name called David. So, I got this name. Oh, you went to an international school? How long did uh, not, you attend an international school for? Uh, not exactly. This is a kindergarten, and it's a have a Chinese. Both have Chinese and English. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, and this was in China. Yeah, it's in China. Uh huh. And did you only attend that school for kindergarten, or did you continue to uh, study at a school that ta also taught in English? Oh. Uh, Actually, in a kindergarten, uh, in that time, we um, didn't also speak English in a normal time. We just have a class and sometimes speak English. Uh huh. Like that. And uh, when I go to the school, uh, no. Okay. So, how have you studied English in the past? Did you just study on your own, or have you taken any additional classes, any tutoring? Well, How do you study English? Ah, uh, 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 I study English uh, begin is when I am in a grade five, mm -hmm. and uh, in the su uh, summer vacation, my mom uh, sent to me in a place to study English with mm. uh, it called Amel and. For three years, uh, in there, I study with, uh, uh, you know, foreign people, or it, it just uh, use a the computer. They have a system to study English. Okay, and how long did you do that program for? Three years. Three years. Do you feel like it helps you improve your English? Yeah, uh, very helpful for my speaking and listening. Hmm, that's wonderful. Have you ever been to America before? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, let me think. Uh, 11 years old or 12 years old. In that time, uh, in, in the summer vacation, I go to the America. Oh, I, I went to the America, yeah. Uh huh. What did you do when you were in America? Did you just come for traveling or did you do any kind of studying here? Uh, no, just travel, but uh, I went to a lot of university. You visited many universities. Okay. Yeah. And um, what was it, any uh, memorable schools or experiences for you during that trip? Yeah. Uh, there's uh, two, uh, you know, two universities that gave me a... Uh, remember, remember is the uh, first one is uh, Stanford, mm -hmm. and the second one is at MIT. Mm, two very very top schools. Yeah, because uh, you know I really like uh, computer, like this computer science. So it it is about time. So I I want to go to the MIT and uh, design a game when I graduate. Oh, you're you're interested in video game design? Yeah, and you know I play lots of games, but I saw a problem. And for example, the shooting zombie games, and you know, well, lots of games uh, give a uh, uh, you know, uh, that means uh, uh, lots of uh, lots of games, and you have a. Same people, same place, same safe house, and uh, same weapons. But I want to create that game is, uh, in, you know, from easy to 
expert and there is a soldier to the couch potato and you you are different people and you can use all the weapons you have uh, in your home everywhere and that that comes at the game and to when it's easy you are a soldier so you can run very fast and you know how to shoot gun but when you are a couch potato you you can run very fast and you didn't know how that's to very shoot interesting gun. it sounds like you have a really creative mind and you have already you know spent a lot of time thinking about this yeah yeah that's great have you ever taken any classes to study maybe um, programming or or computer science or game design before have you ever tried to learn anything like that uh, I never take the class but uh, I before designing some games but uh, it is very easy to design because I just download a system and you didn't need to have an Arctic uh, you know drawing pictures people and mm -hmm. you didn't have a need uh, someone speaking you, you just you know write and put the main character on the game okay. it's very easy to create to create it okay that's great um it's uh, actually in a lot of schools in America, uh, high schools in America, they do offer um, different classes where you can learn programming and um, coding and some different computer computer science or computer uh, software design classes. Would that be something you're interested in taking? Yeah, uh, actually, I really want to, you know, uh, get it. Uh, there is an AP class, and I want to study computer science. But uh, my mom says, mm -hmm. "Well, it is uh, you have to study uh, very good in your math because yes, it you is do. basic for your science." Yes, very true. Yeah. Yeah, and do you like math? Well, probably. Yeah, for math, uh, sometimes I like it because uh, you know some difficult question and I solve the question wow mm -hmm. it's very happy <laughs> yeah it's it's very fulfilling because yeah. and, and it's, it's satisfying because you get that instant gratification <laughs> of course yeah David what grade are you in now oh I'm um, in a grade eight you're, oh you're in eighth grade wow are you applying to uh, the ninth grade then when you come to America or would you be playing to the uh, eighth grade I, again? I, I'm in grade. Uh, I want to go to America for grade eight too. Okay. Because I'm, did I didn't know, uh, or I didn't, you know. Sometimes people have to use uh, the conditions of, mm -hmm. of English. And yeah. They have to try how to have a conversation or have a class be uh, between student and teacher. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm so, already thinking of a school for you that is. Um, that has a really, really great program, and it's a junior high school, so you would be able to attend their 8th grade there. And the reason I'm thinking of it is because it's located very close to San Francisco, and it's near Southern California. Have you ever heard of the city called San Jose? No, but I know a place in San Francisco is, a, you know, uh, have lots of computers to design and programming. Uh -huh. There's lots of people working here. Yeah. Um, yeah, that area is called the Silicon Valley. So if you are interested in um, having a career in computers or software design or even video game design, then it would be great for you to be in that area. And especially, did you say you visited Stanford before? This school would be pretty close to Stanford, so you can go visit the campus again. And um, uh, maybe I know that they offer some special summer programs for high school students too so this could be an option for you in the future when you're in high school later on um, so it might be a good idea for you to just be in that area for starting great. from your junior high school do you agree? Great. yeah sounds, okay. sounds like a it's good idea good. Huh? yeah okay yeah. so this school is called Stratford School and we work very very closely with them our students who are already there now are so happy because the teachers are really wonderful they're very very educated and um, our students really learn a lot while they're there 
And they also have an ESL program, which I think that maybe you won't even need after your first, uh, maybe just do it for one year and you won't need it anymore. Um, but you're, you're going to have to study really hard to improve, though, because I can tell that your speaking English is very good. Okay. Um, we'll have to see about how well you can do it and keeping up with your peers, though, because you don't have, you know, these, uh, the same background as our, as our American students, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But let's, let's give it a try, okay? Okay. Um, we're going to move on to the reading passage. I'm going to paste a, I'm going to send you a message here. Can you see that? Oh, uh, wait a minute. Uh-huh. Look in the chat oh, box yeah. where we first said hello yeah. to each other. Okay. Uh, uh see that Jack. Jack uh, London Jack, story. Right? Great. Okay, Please Jack read it out London loud for story. me so that I can hear. Read it loud and clear. So, sorry, I again. Uh, can you please read it out loud for me so that I can hear? Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, Jack London's story. Caught off, uh, caught off the wi uh, wild uh, tail of the uh, 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 a dog, uh, Stallone from uh, California, who is taking a uh, Alaska during the. Uh, called a uh, clone dike um, gold rush in the late uh, 1890s, uh, 1890s. Uh, but becomes uh, becomes a sled dog part of the uh, part of a team that uh, transports supplies and people through the harsh uh winter harsh winters okay uh, it was uh, in uh, inevitable that the clash uh, that the clash of for our uh, leadership uh I'm leaving a five should, today, by the uh, way. should come uh buck wanted uh, wanted he wa uh, wanted it be because it was his uh, nature, because uh, because he had been um, repaid uh, tightly by the English. Um, comprehensible pride of the troll and Trace the tried uh, which hold dogs into uh, in the toe and uh, into toe to the last gra uh, grasp, which lures them to die. Uh, what's that word? Joyfully, joyfully. Joyfully, that's in right. Okay, joyfully, in the her uh, harness and break uh, break their hats if the, if they they are cut off a uh, uh, cut off the harness. And this was the pride of Dave's uh, as well dog of so legs uh, as he uh, pulled. With all his uh, strength, uh, the pride that uh, laid hold of them at the uh, at break of camp, uh, transforming uh, transforming them from sore and uh, uh, and solemn. Um, Roots into start uh, starting, urging, uh, aptitudes, great uh, creatures, the pride uh, the pride that support them uh, all day and uh, drop them at pitch of campus at night, letting them fall back in uh, glo uh, gloomy on. Um, Rest and this uh, 
content and to this content. This were uh, this was the pro, uh, pride that pro uh, brought up spies and made him. Arsh, the slack dog, who um, blundered and uh, shirk, uh, shirked in the circus, or he hid away at harness harness up time in the war, uh, morning. Likewise. It was uh, it was this pride uh, that made him fear buck uh, as a pro uh, probably lead dog, and this was uh, buck pride too. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> you d you did a great job. Was that difficult for you? You look tired. Well, <laughs> Before I just having a you know reading part in the TOEFL test, uh -huh. well, just uh, you know doing some uh, t task and give you some question to to choice. Yes. And uh, and never reading before. You've never read well, English before. I, no, I I read English uh -huh. uh, when uh, when in the army, but in, when I'm in the New Oriental, well, long time I didn't reading. Oh, you haven't read an English story in a long time. Is that what you? Oh, mean? just for read. I mean, just for read. Uh, uh, not for what uh, you know. Read a story and speaking. I didn't say speaking a lot of time, but I read a lot of uh, English story. Uh huh. Yeah. So when I. Speak, it's uh, difficult speaking. to say it out loud. Is that what yeah. you mean? Yeah. Um, is, is, the pronun is the pronunciation hard for you? Is that what's the most difficult part? Oh, uh, not, uh, not all of them, but I think, uh, you know, sometimes, uh, well, I'm uh, no, nervous. <laughs> well, you don't have to be nervous. You did a really good job. And did you understand what the story was talking about? Well, can I just read again without uh, speaking? No, that that's okay. We don't need to do that. Um, you did a, you did a good job, and I think that you have a better command of speaking and listening and understanding English than maybe your um, reading and probably you're writing so um, are you currently taking any tutoring classes or English training classes uh, sorry are you currently taking any English classes maybe any tutoring uh, take, taking more class English classes special English classes uh, are you yeah, taking anything I'm, like that no, now? I'm, no I'm studying in your oriental uh, in your local school? Uh, yeah, that is local, but it's very famous in China. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think with a little bit of extra help and some um, some more intensive studying, I think that your English can improve drastically even while you're just in China now, before you come to America in the fall. Yeah. So, I do encourage you to start taking some extra classes, okay? Okay. Okay, so you can talk to your parents about that. I'm going to recommend a few schools for you that, uh, in addition to the school that I mentioned earlier, Stratford School in San Jose, there's 